Good morning, everyone. Wayne Bolton. I'm here at the Speed King channel. It is hump day. It is Wednesday. Turn your closed captions on for us. And remember, our Kentucky Oaks and Kentucky Derby tip sheets will be available. And I want you to get your pre-orders in now. So can you please email me to let me know that you want them or not so I can get this stuff uh, set aside and out of the way. Email us at speedking 24 at yahoo.com. And the girls are back in town you see me with my rachel alexandra horse of the year shirt on zenyatta's on this shirt as well we don't want to disrespect her but she's no rachel alexandra for sure well the 150 running of the kentucky oaks the first friday of may now again everybody knows i'm a big philly and mayor female supporter because I think it's just better racing, in my opinion, okay? And when I say better, I don't mean one from the other. I mean in terms of parity. And this year's Kentucky Oaks, like always, is even across the board. You can throw a blanket over the 14 in here, which offers a great race, great value, and parity, which is the deal with most female races. There's not a lot of separation in Philly and Mayor's races in terms of ability and talent, in my opinion. Now, we have the rare case there's a Rachel Alexandra. There he goes, right? I mean, you know, the super Philly. Have you ever seen anything like Rachel Alexandra? No. Hey, when you get a chance, go on to YouTube and watch all the Rachel Alexandra races and you'll know what I mean. But this year's running of the Oaks... To me, it's a better card than the Derby card. And when I'm just saying parity-wise. So remember that when you buy your tip sheets. I mean, Friday is a tremendous card. But let's dial into the Speed King's top 10 Phillies going in on the 10th of April. Top 10. We'll start at number 10 and we'll work our way up to the front. These horses are very, very equal in talent and ability. Number 10. Well... How about VV's Dream, right? Well, VV's Dream is trained by who? Kenny McPeak, McPeak and McPeak. Of course, his boy Hernandez will be in the odds, right? Well, she has two wins from seven stars. She's number 10 as a contender going right now as of this sitting on the 10th of April. And um, she's only won two races. Uh, she did end up winning... Um, the Pocahontas Stakes back there last year. No wins as a two-year-old. I like VV Dreams enough to put her on the list as number 10. Number 9, Candace, right? Candid. Well, again, this is another horse that I deserve, I thought deserved to at least be on the list at at least number 9. Two wins from four-star. Trained by that man, Mama. is Todd Pletcher. Louis Saez usually rides this one. This one, again, won the Al Sabaiti Stakes uh, last year. Came out this year in the grade one Ashland Stakes and ran fourth. There is some upside here. This horse is by Candy Ride. So I says, you know what? There is a chance that Phillies have a tendency to jump, right? And this one is bred beautifully enough. Comes from a great outfit, obviously, like most of these do. She did win the Alcibiade as a two-year-old. She made her four, uh, three-year-old debut on um, uh, the f uh, 5th of April. Uh, in the Ashland, ran fourth, didn't disgrace, and now has enough points to get in to the Kentucky Oaks on Friday. She's our ninth pick for sure. Our uh, eighth pick is a horse called Main Squeeze, or Power Squeeze, not Main Squeeze, Power Squeeze. Well, here is a very, very talented filly. Power Squeeze has four wins in her career from six starts. The horse is three for three this year as a three-year-old. Let me see y'all shake a stick at that. Trained by, again, uh, Delgado. And, of course, uh, this one uh, is uh, by Union Rags with Awesome again on the back end. See, go Zappa, right? And this one is three for three. Power Squeeze as a three-year-old. Uh, coming out. Uh, winning the cash run stakes over there at Gulfstream at Tampa. Um, this horse won the Suncoast race. And then, of course, won the Gulf 
Gulfstream Park Oaks, right? Now, the speed figures look a little light, but Phillies have a tendency to jump. There's no way you can't have power squeeze somewhere in your top 10. I mean, the horse never disgraced. She's a nice filly. These are evenly matched. Three for three this year as a three-year-old. Overall, four for six. Hey, she made number eight on our list for sure. Number seven, well, our pretty woman. I like that name. Our pretty woman, again, is a wonderful, wonderful horse. Um, if you ask me, uh, our pretty woman, uh, let me find her data here. Uh, has exactly two wins from three starts. Trained by my boy. That's my boy, Steve Asmussen. C50 stars 20 years ago. Right? Got the Rolex guy in the yarn, Joel Rosario. Our pretty woman is by Medaglia Dora on the back end by Spiegeltown. And if you ask me, this one won a maiden race and an allowance race. Ran second in the fairground oaks. And that's how Steve Asmussen horses run. They never knock themselves out. They never had big jumps, right? If you do what I do, you notice trainers' patterns. Like Todd Pletcher's horses, they can jump. Brad Cox's horses, they jump from one mediocre race to a big race. Steve Asmussen horses don't do that. They gradually get better, which is healthier to me in terms of their development. Okay, and our pretty woman who made number seven on our list is a horse with only three starts. Uh, obviously, it's not the ceiling, it is the floor because it's only three starts. It takes these horses time to develop over time. And to me, our pretty woman deserves to be number seven on this list for sure. And um, number six on the list is another one, uh, She's So Pretty. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, she's so pretty, looks a lot like our pretty woman. She has three starts with two wins and one third. Trained by another filly, Sher uh, Sherry, uh, uh, Sherry Duvall, right? This one is a very, very nice filly. Uh, actually has beautiful, beautiful pace numbers, right? This horse probably should be higher on my list. She's, she feels pretty right other than six right i mean because this one comes uh, uh out of uh the Nathan stakes last year at woodbine then by way of santa anita the breeders cup juvenile philly where she ran third the speed figures and pace numbers on this horse she feels pretty is absolutely fantastic sherry duvall a disciple of chad brown's obviously is very nice this one is going to be making her three-year-old debut in the Oaks. So this one's probably have improved that we haven't seen yet because she hasn't run since the Breeders' Cup race in November. We give them about a point and a half for every three months. And again, she should be, t you know, I, don't, I didn't know how to put them here. I'll put her here. She's number six on our list. She feels pretty. But this horse actually probably should be a little higher. Actually, I think she's better than just FYI. No, he did not. I just said it. Because that's my boy, Billy Ma, just FYI. But I might be doing She Feels Pretty a little injustice here by having her number six on, on the Speed Kings list. I might be doing her. I like this horse. She feels pretty, and it, I mean the girls are in town, and the fact that Sherry Duvall, another female, I would love to see a female win the Kentucky Oaks. I would love that, but I got she's so pretty. There he got, obviously you can tell I like this horse. How she's number six on my list, I don't know how. She should be up there higher. I just, this is a nice horse, y'all. Making her three-year-old three -year debut. Huh? huh? I'm telling you right now, and I know as I project horses, because I'm an old Raggedson sheet developer off of a nice two-year-old line. This, yo, man, she feels pretty. She, I got her number six, but in my next sitting, she'll probably be higher. This is a nice horse, and the fact that Sherry Duvall is doing the conditioning for sure, I like that. And guess who's in the odds? My list of Hall of Famers, Johnny V. Is there a chance that Johnny V, 
No, he didn't. Is there a chance that Johnny V can win the Kentucky Oaks and the Kentucky Derby? Sounds like a double to me, right? A daily double. Oaks to the Derby? Why? Because you know he has fierceness. There he goes with that Todd Pletcher Derby horse. There's a chance. But she feels pretty. Spending a lot of time on this horse, why? Right? Give me a little minute, because it is my girls. You know, I like them. This is a nice horse, man, making her three-year-old debut. She made number six at this sitting, but next time, I'm going to get her higher than number six. Well, it's going to start to get heavy in here, y'all. Hard to justify. Well, again, you know, <laughs> it, it's going to be really, really hard uh, not to keep an eye on hard to justify. Okay, obviously, uh, a runner and sire is uh, Justify, who's a triple crown winner with an asterisk on the back end by Quality Road, right? Hey, this horse is undefeated. Made number five on our list. Hard to justify? He, She did. She's three for three, right? Never ran as a two-year-old, right? Flavian Pratt is Chad Brown, mama. Wait a minute. Don't Chad Brown has that serious... Ser uh, Syria Leon in the Derby? Could that be a double? Chad Brown, Chad Brown, Oaks, Dirt, could be. But hard to justify? You think I like, you think I like She's So Pretty with Sherry Duvall, who's number six, but our fifth contender going in right now? Hey, yo, man, this is a nice filly. Hard to justify. Do you see why I like Phillies racing? Because of the parody. They're, the in ability and talent, really, they're usually not that far apart. And you can get great value, but most of all, you get great racing. Look at the women's NCAA tournament. The females do something different than the males. They're, they're more fundamentally sound. They usually do what they need to do. That's just my opinion. But hard to justify by justify a quality role. Chad Brown, my boy, and Flavian Pratt, the second anchor of all times in the arms, right? This is a nice filly. Hard to justify. This horse last won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Philly? Wow. And she's number five on my list? Number five. Yo, man, put some respect on Hard to Justify his name. Now, you heard me ramp and rave about she's so pretty. Man, this is a nice horse who's at number five for us, for sure. Hey, how can we not at number four? How did you put just FYI at number four? That's how evenly matched these horses are. That's my boy, Billy Mott, C. Cigar, and many, many more. Like Country House. Flavian Pratt was up that day, right? Well, just FYI, by Justify, on the back end by one of my favorite horses of all time, Street Cry. Well, she's number four? She's number four on the Speed King list, and that's your boy, Billy Mott, with Alvarado in the R and his boy. Three wins from four starts, made the three-year-old debut in the Ashland, ran second. I know it was a stepping stone to the Oaks. They wasn't all out. I'm not going to put nothing by her, but to me, from a handicapping standpoint, currently going in with a month left, she's number four on our list. And it's my boy, just FYI. That tells you how deep this field is. Number three, well, it must be a good dolphin runner. You got that right. Hey, Tariff, right? Listen to me. Listen to me. It's Godolphin, see pretty mischievous last year from the 14 hole with the smooth, smooth Tyler Gaffley hole. We cash big money on that one, right? Y'all knew I loved the pretty halls last year in the Kentucky Oaks. Go back and watch the video. Well, it's Brad Cox and his band of big head horses, bred and owned by Godolphin. Flavian Pratt's in the arm, four wins from five starts. Hello, won the grade two, um... Uh, Fairgrounds Oaks, before then, won the Rachel Alexandra. Do I need to say anything more? And before that allowance race, this horse is three for three this year. Tariff, Godolphin horse, will be on all my tickets. It's at number three. That's how competitive and beautiful these races are. And here is maybe my favorite horse, uh, Phillies, this year. I love Torpedo Anna. 
I love this horse by Fast Anna. Uncle Mo on the back end, three wins from four starts, one second. It's McPeak and McPeak consultant firm doing the conditioning. You got Hernandez always in the odds for McPeak. And this one, man, I won in the fantasy stake on this one. This one's improving. And if you give Kenny McPeak a nice three-year-old baby, particularly in Philly, you better watch out. I like Torpedo Anna. She's number two on my list. Okay? Number one, well, you all better pay attention to this one, if you ask me. Number one on the list is Tamra. Don't you sleep on this one. Tamra is by Bolt Diora with Henny Hughes on the back end. Two wins from three starts. It's the classy, classy, classy Richard Mandela calling the signals over there. Spinthrift Farms is the owner and breeder. And this one won the debaton race. If this horse as a two-year-old ever run that debaton race that he ran on uh, September 9th, yo man. They'll never see which way this filly went. She came back in the Breeders' Cup uh, Net Jet Mile Juvenile and ran seventh. We haven't seen her as a three-year-old. If this one makes the gate, and I told you about the improvement, even though she hasn't run as a three-year-old, it's the classy Richard Mandela. I thought Tamara deserved to be number one on our list. So you see what my case is here. From top to bottom, number one, Tamara. I love the port... Uh, uh, ther um, uh, Thorpedo Anna, number two. Number three, Tariff. This is a good dolphin runner. Just FYI, at number four, my boy, Billy Mott. That's where I had to put you, Billy. Number five, hard to justify. Don't you sleep on that one. Hey, the number six, she is so, so pretty. That's Sherry Duvall and company. My boy, Asmussen, at number seven, is our pretty woman. Power Squeeze, number eight. Candid, I think it's Pletcher at number nine. And a long shot down there, VV Dream. You tell me that this race is not even in terms of ability and, and talent. You could throw a blanket over here. That makes for a great race and great value. The Philly race, to me, is such a better race than the Kentucky Derby. And I only mean that from uh, cheering and as a fan. And you're going to get value as a wagerer. But first, as a fan, better than that, just like the NCAA Women's Tournament, to me... The women is just so much better than the men in terms of fun and being a fan. So there's our top 10. Let me know what you think. I'll run through the 10 again. Up top, that's right, Mandela. Hey, uh, Richard, that classy. Tamara, number one. Torpedo Anna, number two. Third, the Godolphin runner, Tarrant. Just FYI, kind of I put Billy Mott fourth, right? And number five, hard to justify. <laughs> Hell, man, don't be sleeping on that one. The son or the daughter of the Triple Crown winner with an asterisk. She is so pretty at number six. Our pretty woman at number seven. The old power squeeze at eight. Candid Pletcher and VV Dreams. That's another McPeak. Let me know what you think. Let's start a healthy discussion. This is a great race. The parity, the evenness, makes for a beautiful race as they spread out across the track coming home. There's usually not that much difference in talent with Phillies. That's why I love them so much. You're going to get great value here. There's your Kentucky Oaks, your Speed King Top 10, subject to revision, of course, as some defect and some comes in like that. Let me know what you think. Let's start a healthy discussion. I get excited about my girls. They're in town, of course on Friday, the 3rd of May. Make sure you get your tip sheets order for both days, uh, Friday and Saturday. I still think Friday's always a better car just than Saturday, just like in the Breeders' Cup. I think that Friday card is always better, right? But, of course, it gets all the attention because it's what it should. Both days are great as always. My name is Wayne Bolden. Keep it 100. Keep it classy as always. If they go low, you keep it high for sure. Shout out to all my boys out there. JK for sure. Mr. Crowley. We love this. Parody is there for sure. Stay classy. I took a long time because it's my girls. You know they're going to be in town on Friday. May 3rd. Kentucky Oaks.